So we should play that for the end. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing in 2662. We are in part 19, housekeeping and completion. Today we have worked off of this checklist. Acknowledge and track all the chords that we use from the C, D, and G flat 2662 scales. Do a final check of annotation in our composition. Review how we got here and declare completion. And part of that declaring completion is we looked at our all the parts that we have stream highlights composing in one part one part two etc 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 all the way down to here to the part 19 which is a is what we're working on right now how did we get here well we started by saying we're going to work in the 2662 scale which is pentatonic parallel scales and we're going to try to use the minor, the major, and the full tonality, 2662 and 2662. Then we got started, figured out how many chords we had to work with, what kind of design approach we were going to use, influences in the past, present. Then we talked about what a motif is, and we made a motif, which has actually been used in the final composition. It's any kind of musical phrase that you can recognize then we really got down on our concepts and we said we were going to use the idea of wisdom teeth personas and publics and quantum jumps audiences and purposes whatever all that means and we're going to tell an energy story then we got into melodies uh, we had a motif but we wanted to have a lot more motifs and uh, we spent a bunch of time watching some other videos and brainstorming and composed a bunch more melodies. Uh, we wanted to work with minor major full tonality and a bunch of stuff there. Uh, one of the key ideas we had was using Flight of the Bumblebee as our metaphor of rising and lifting because this quantum jumps has a rising and lifting uh, element to it and also wisdom teeth as an emerging and so we drew these little pictures and we talked about modulating from the root of C to some other roots. And we were saying, what should we modulate to? And after some scratching overhead, we figured we'd modulate from C to D to G flat. And it made sense. Uh, then we kind of made a poetic image of the story we're trying to tell. And then we made a kind of a rather technical image of the story we're trying to tell and end up calling the whole thing Pulse Story. So that's how we got here. So we're declaring complete. We're going to make a recording of this and um, post it. And we'll make sure that in this final highlight, there'll be a link to the, to the post. And we do appreciate your following us all the way through these 19 streams. What we're gonna do now is just play the last part, part four. Um, and the one thing we kept double checking was our energy diagram. Here's part four is over here. And uh, what we realized is our average energy is shown by the red line and our trending energy is showing by the blue line. And how we started in the first part kind of almost flat. Then we kind of end up having a down movement. And further down. And then we ended up going up making a final permanent transition as we've discussed before from C root of C th through working root of D to ending up in the root of a G flat. So we shall start here on this part right here, right here and we'll Knock the mic off for a minute and listen to this. Thank you. 
So that concludes this Composing in 2662 stream series. We look forward to seeing you when we begin our next series, which we're already having some ideas on. And appreciate your listening, your patience, and look forward to seeing you again. And as always, keep on streaming.